Regenerative medicine is uh, the branch of medicine that uh, is focused on the restoration of tissues uh, and organs and their function using tissue engineering and uh, cellular therapies. It's the body's natural healing process is to deploy platelets and subsequently stem cells to the area that's injured or degenerated and begin the healing cascade. What we're doing is exactly that. We are accelerating and amplifying it and in a concentrated form delivering where they need to be. So it's a natural, it's a safe and very effective process. Because with regenerative medicine, we're doing more than just palliating the pain symptoms. We're not just mitigating the inflammation and the pain, we're addressing the root cause of the inflammation and the pain. PRP is platelet-rich plasma. Uh, it is obtained from whole blood, just a simple blood draw, and concentrated using a special centrifuge device in order to isolate the component in blood that is rich in platelets, which release growth factors in the setting of injury. It's purely from the patient's body. There are no drugs, there are no external substances. What we're doing is starting and initiating the body's own natural healing process. We have a reserve of stem cells in our body. So what we do is we harness the stem cells, concentrate them, and then deliver them where the injury has taken place. So what stem cells do is they can differentiate into other cell types. So if a stem cell arrives at an injured tissue, which normally happens in our bodies, uh, just not at the same amount, not at the same uh, concentration, they arrive and they interact with the ambient cells, the cells that are there. They exchange proteins and even RNA, and that induces those stem cells to become the type of cell in that environment. So that's how regeneration occurs when we are injured. And it may be four to eight weeks before the patient actually feels a benefit. And for months after that, the healing will continue. So it's a much more gradual process, certainly is not instant gratification. But instead of just mitigating the pain and inflammation, as you would with a steroid, what we're actually doing is getting at the source of the pain and inflammation. CDI has 30 years experience uh, with interventional spine and musculoskeletal procedures. If a patient has a recommendation to have surgery, it would be worth evaluating whether or not this was an option that may either stall and delay surgery or replace it. I think that when you have a therapeutic option that has no side effects, that is safe and does more than just put a band-aid on the symptoms, but actually treats the root cause uh, of the symptoms. I think that's revolutionary.